All right, listen up, everybody. I know I've been gone for a while, but it's time for me to make another video. Why Shutters and Triggers, links down below, is having a contest. So, to get started, let's go ahead and answer his questions. Who is Shutters and Triggers? I'll briefly explain. He's a knife, gun guy, a couple other things thrown in there for about photography. Uh, that's his trait. And what he has to offer is a very good present, very, very good presentation as far as video quality and the material and the time frame that he takes to explain everything and some good content in there as well. So go ahead and check him out. I'll let you guys decide. So let's get started. Kershaw Compound. This has been my everyday carry for the last three months. I've been trying to work my way towards larger blades rather than something under two ounces. So this... I said, I don't know what weighs. I'm guessing about three and a half. It's over three inches, so it meets the larger blade category. Liner lock, it's going to be hard to tell, but the corners are very slightly rounded, so it does work well when you're, you're grabbing. You're not having sharp edges on the handle cutting in. Very secure liner, so you know it's, it's going to stay in the locked position as long as you're not really abusing the blade. Got hollow ground. Uh, knife blade design so you can really slice through cardboard which is actually why I've been carrying this I wanted to test the steel see how long it lasted and listen to this the lockup is still just as good as when it came new it truly is for under $25 I think the best value for money there are several similar designs but I like the compound the best for the overall you can see just how the looks of the blade appear it's just very clean looking the pocket clips slightly goofy just like the Oh So Sweet, I'm not a big fan of it, but it does work. It does carry deep and doesn't catch on anything. So there you go. My everyday carry knife for the last three months. So I got started in collecting knives by watching nothing fancy videos. It kind of spurred from there and just a quest in trying to find both an everyday carry knife for daily use around town as well as an outdoors blade. So I'm just going to show you a couple examples of where I started and where it went from there. So Outdoors Blade, I just chose this buck knife. It is a limited edition from the Boone and Crockett Club. The reason I got it is the orange handle. It's very lightweight. It's kind of like the Bantam, but not quite. And it's got a lock back. So something like this was one of my first outdoors knives. And to be truthful, I actually didn't use it because I took my everyday carry knife with me. And that kind of led to something like this. Kershaw Leak. Now, I wouldn't take this in the woods at all but at the same time this is a very good EDC knife because you have a very precise tip as long as you're not using it as a pry bar or something stupid like that so then I got to knives like this the CRKT premonition that's right and this is a very lightweight pretty rugged for what it is and just really cool textured handle and just kind of grows from there so the idea is you start with something you say I think I could use that learn a little bit from it, figure out what features you want, and just go from there. And to be honest with you, for long, you'll end up with a collection. Just make sure you're using smart, buy, smart buys from good sources so you're not wasting your money. And don't worry about selling them. Unless it's something that's one of 10, one of 100, it's okay to sell it to get it back later, even if it is used. There is always something better out there. So don't worry about that, but just grow your collection. So there you have it. It's a few of mine put a VR for uh, some of yours. So while I don't have the first knife that I have, partly because I'm in the middle of laundry and it's probably in a pocket because I still try to carry it often, it's the Flash 1. This is the second one I have. I don't know how well it's going to pick up. It's the, I guess you call it the titanium. It's that purple, green, blue color, multi-changing. Even the pocket clip has it. So you're not going to get... There we go. There it is has that and then on the pocket clip as well but this is a second flash one that I acquired but this still works just as well I need to sharpen the blade up on this one yes I do use my collectible knives I don't have such a knife that I wouldn't use however this is definitely a pride and joy because they only made 500 of them so anyhow this is the knife the flash one that first got me into knife collecting and you know it's it's under an ounce and a half, I think it's 1.2 ounces, um, two and a half or so inch blade, and the lock is decent. But what's really cool is you, st I do have slender fingers, but you can still get all four fingers on there and really get a purchase when using a, such a small knife. The exception of understanding it is a smaller blade 
and it might be a little tricky to work the thumb stud if you don't have dexterity like that. So this is the first knife that got me into knife collecting, the SOG Flash 1. Highly recommend it, just about under $40 for anyone looking into it. I actually got this for $45 off eBay. It was used. So for my channel shout out, it's going to be James Yeager. Description's down below. The reason why I'm shouting out a larger channel is I want to make sure everyone is subscribed to this guy for several reasons. He's an instructor with Tactical Response, or the instructor, at least one of them. And the idea behind it is he's smart enough to realize that people who want to train are going to show up at his facility or someone else's and get the training that way. You can watch someone across the TV screen and still not grasp everything that's going on because you can't get the little tweaks uh, as to your manipulations of a firearm or something to that effect without the instructor being there. So he knows that and he's willing to give out this information free here on YouTube. Take the time even to, to make these videos. So just the wealth of knowledge he's putting out there on a daily and a weekly basis is phenomenal. So I encourage you guys to check him out. A lot with tactics, a lot with mindset and a lot with the gear and the selection and the whole bit so go ahead and check that out but that's been my video thanks for watching guys and gals peace and i'll see you on the next video see ya